Those things were lasting forever. Welcome back everybody. Summer break has officially begun. The kids are happy, the birds are chirping, the thunder is rolling. We've been outside, I've been letting the kids play in the pool. Manly does not love the pool yet. He will, but he doesn't love it right now. He likes to just walk around the outside of it and throw things in to Jonah and Sissy. So while they've been playing out there this afternoon, I've been cleaning up the yard, getting some of that grass out of the pond. Every year, it's like more grass grows in the pond. It tries to take over and we have to get rid of it. So I've been pulling up what I could reach on the you know edge of the pond. And then usually Titus will either get on a float or put on some waders and go out into the pond and get the rest of it. But yeah, every year it's like more grass. It tries to take over the entire pond. So we were having fun out there, especially me pulling up, that was, that was great. <laughs> then it started thundering. So I told the kids to hop out of the pool, let's go inside. It never started raining or anything though. And I don't think it's supposed to. We weren't supposed to get any rain until sometime next week. The kids want to go fishing this evening. That's what they asked to do on the last day of school, go fishing. I thought they were going to ask for the mountain coaster, but they asked to go fishing. So hopefully it's just a little passing thunder and there's not going to be any rain and we'll go fishing this evening. For supper tonight, we're having the shrimp fajitas and we were going to cook them on the grill, but it started thundering. I don't think it's supposed to rain though, like I said, but for just shrimp, that would be using a lot of charcoal and shrimp, you know, actually the shrimp I have is already the cooked kind, but I am gonna put it in the skillet for just a little bit. So I decided we wouldn't waste the charcoal on that. I'll just cook it in here. And we have chips, salsa, and cheese dip to go with the shrimp fajitas. I gotta get down here to find the cheese dip. And y'all, it looks like it's so dark in here. Number one, because it's cloudy outside. Number two, our everlasting bulbs that we have not had to replace in almost eight years and i don't know how long they had been lasting before that finally went out on us so we've got to go to lowe's those things were lasting forever so is everybody on summer break now i know some of y'all are not yet because some of y'all told me that school doesn't get out for y'all until june i think 13th or 14th or something and i know some have already been out since like the second or third week of may i'm gonna cook up some corn to go with these fajitas but i was trying to decide should i use frozen or canned i'm gonna go with frozen I think frozen will work better and I have to make my own fajita seasoning unless I happen to have a pack up there in my little mixes container. I'll check and see, but I don't think I do. What do we have in here? We have onion soup, ranch, ranch, no fajita, lemon lime Kool-Aid. That's for when I make punch, which would be really fun to make, but I don't have any pineapple juice and pepper gravy. Yes, no fajita. All right, so I've got the corn. I'm not going to use this whole two pound bag, probably just fourth of it or so for the fajita seasoning we're gonna need half a tablespoon of chili powder and i'm gonna double this fajita seasoning recipe so i'm gonna put a whole tablespoon but i'll have the original down below for y'all a tablespoon of cumin and now we need two teaspoons of garlic powder i cannot get this top back on this garlic there we go a teaspoon of paprika I'm making some fajita seasoning, a teaspoon of dried oregano, a teaspoon, that's right, half a teaspoon of pepper, and a teaspoon of salt. Okay, I'm gonna put all my seasonings back up real quick. I'll just stir this around, or you put the lid on it and shake it, but I'll just stir it around with a fork. Man, he's got a popsicle, which means we'll have to change his shirt in a minute. You make a mess with popsicles, huh? Yeah. All right, got the peppers washed. I would love to make a cilantro lime sauce, like dressing to go on these shrimp fajitas, but I don't have a lime or cilantro, so. Okay, so we're just gonna slice up this red and green bell pepper. You can do onions too, or hot peppers, whatever you wanna put on these shrimp fajitas. I'll probably have a little hot pepper on the side with mine. This is another quick 
an easy summertime meal, especially because, you know, you could cook this on the grill very quickly. You wouldn't even have to heat up the house, but even if you cook it inside, it doesn't take very long. So still a good quick summer supper. Hand washing break. Manly got all sticky. We're gonna put a little bit of oil in the skillet. I've got it heating up on medium. I also need to get out the griddle because I'm gonna heat the fajita shells up on the griddle. Peppers going in, and I'm gonna put just a little bit of the fajita seasoning on the pepper. And while these are cooking, I'm gonna be taking the tails off the shrimp because I got the tail on time. Still getting the rest of the shrimp ready, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the corn in here. I'm probably gonna put about two cups of corn. We are finished eating those shrimp fajitas. They were so good. And if you already had your stuff prepped, like already had your peppers chopped, tails off your shrimp if you got tail on, and already had the fajita seasoning, this only takes like 15 minutes, seriously. Even, you know, heating up the tortilla shells, the fajita shells, 15 minutes. And so good. Now it's cleanup time. I already packed up the leftovers. This is all that was left. It's enough for like two fajitas for somebody for lunch tomorrow. Underwater, the fish don't stink. Underwater, <laughs> There's an Bobby episode of World. Bobby's World, and I forget why. What was going on in the episode? Was he dreaming? He was playing hide and seek. But it goes like this. No, that's not how it goes. It goes underwater. The fish don't stink. They're going fast. Could be a duck meeting somewhere. There's something. They getting somewhere quick. Underwater, the fish don't stink. <laughs> Under this water, 
Those fish do not stick. I look for nature when I'm out here. Do not sniff underneath the <laughs> You got a big one? You got a big one. Under the water. You do not stick. I had a good feeling about that spot right there.